Welcome to another episode of From the Helm with Marine Max. I am your host, Lisa, and he is your other host, Kelly. And we are here to bring you all the boating news. Please drop your questions and comments below. We have some special guests here today. Shelly Nelson, Director of Marketing, and Chase White, Vice President of Sales for Harris Boats. Welcome, both of you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Welcome. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, thanks for having us. <laughs> Yes. So could you kind of uh, kick us off and uh, and let us know where are you in the world? That's what we're always starting with. Where in the world are you today? <laughs> Shelly, why don't we start with you? Um, well, I'm in the northwest suburbs of Chicago uh, today. So it's it's uh, you can see it's not as sunny as down where you are. Uh, we did have sunshine the last couple days, uh, but it's, be, it's been getting warmer up here. So we're excited about that. Nice. So what is boating like right now in Chicago? Is that, are we it's, still shut down or what's going on yeah it's we're still shut down um they they you know in certain down on the lake lake michigan and the harbors and stuff uh, some of that is shut down but on the lakes you know there's still access there's still some restrictions um to boating um you know at the moment but people are getting on the water and the warm you know the weather is warm enough now to actually you know enjoy it a little bit we've had some uh you know 60 70 degree weather here recently so but it's up and down like it usually is in may so yeah usually. i'm from michigan originally and kelly minnesota, uh, in minnesota. Uh, okay so you get it you know <laughs> yeah all right chase where are you coming to us from I'm uh, at my home uh, on Lake Hamilton in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Excellent. How's the boating down there these days? It's it's it's, it's really unbelievable right now. Uh, we've had um, a lot of people come in their uh, lake homes, vacation homes. Uh, they've brought their kids in for the the time that the schools have been shut down. So we've had great boating, great traffic on the lake, um, uh, great weather to go along with it. It's as busy as I've ever seen. That's wow. excellent. That is excellent. I know uh, down in Florida, where Kelly and I are both from, uh, it's boating is alive and well, and That's people true. are doing their best to maintain social distance. You see, it's just an interesting, you know, at the boat ramp, people are just staying a little bit further away, respecting everybody's space, but there are definitely people out on the water, which is good to see. It's a great way to, you know, socially distance yourself uh, while still having an amazing time. Definitely. Yeah, for right? sure. All right, so let's continue. I know. Um, <laughs> let's continue with some questioning on Mr. Chase White. Um, where did your career in the marine industry start? Uh, it's kind of interesting. I uh, actually went to work uh, when I was in high school for my stepfather, who owns a uh, dock construction business. And um, from there, as I was going through school, I, I uh, uh, left and went to work for a couple of manufacturers of both uh, docks and lifts. Um, uh, so I've, I've got a lot of um, experience in the waterfront front industry, uh, but it, basically my marine industry experience started when I was 17 years old and I've been in the industry ever since. Wow. Definitely, uh, uh, you know, starting with the building blocks of where you put the boats yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with, with the docks. For sure. I know my dad just put our dock in in uh, Michigan. It's a, it's a big deal uh, when you when the lake is unfrozen and you can put the dock in and, you know, the next thing's a boat, the next thing is tubing. It's fun. Yeah, it's, it's, right. it was a great industry. So I, I you, you yeah. got to see. Uh, uh, a lot of fun happens on the dock. It brings a lot of people happiness. So uh, it's it's been a great way to start and 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 progress through my career for me. All right, Shelly, what about you? So I've I've been in the marine industry for it's going on three years now. Um, previously, you know, I've always worked in marketing and but grew up boating, did a lot of boating. So for me, being able to marry sort of marketing and be in the marine industry has been wonderful. Um, and I really haven't, you know, in a lot of places that I've worked, uh, marine industry has been so welcoming. Everybody that I have met has just been, you know, great and welcoming. And I really, really enjoy it. I think, um, thinking about boating all day and, um, you know, when we have product meetings and we sit there for two, uh, you know, two hours or so or more talking about what the future of boating looks like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great and enjoyable work. So I love it. I mean, what what better place uh, to be in marketing than boating? It's it's basically we're we're marketing fun, and uh, 
And, and that's Absolutely. certainly what it is. And especially pontoon boats, which I mean, being from the north, especially is like, you know, you talk about fun on the water. Uh, the first thing you think of, and I think we had our, our boating tips live, uh, some stuff last week, uh, but pontoon boats are, are all about fun. And uh, can, can you kind of talk about uh, uh, you guys and when it comes to Harris and, and how you guys try to promote that aspect of fun in your brand? Sure. Uh, so, you know, I think when you, there's a lot of boats and there's a lot of fun you can have on basically any boat on the water, but particularly about pontoons, you just, you have the space to really entertain. The whole purpose is to bring everybody together so that you can have a good time. And, you know, everything about where the, you know, the layouts of the boat and the versatility of it really makes it the place to hang out. Um, we like to think of it as the extension of your deck, you know, on your lake and that you want that same sort of um, comfort and atmosphere um, and just really enjoy being out on the water with everybody together in, a, in a, your floating living room or rooftop deck, basically. So <laughs> that's very well said. Um, I, I know that, I mean, when you think pontoon boats, my, my parents have a pontoon boat on their lake in Michigan, and that is sunset cruising every evening, and it is the best. And pontoons have come a really long way since, I mean, even just my family had one. I remember the first one my dad bought, it was basically a shell. You know, it was the floating uh, pontoons with a deck on top and, and a moat on the back. And then now there's so much technology. There are bar stools. There are pop-up heads that come out of nowhere. Um, I, I think that is, is just such a fun thing when you think about pontoons and just where they started and where they are now is, is an amazing transition. Yeah. I mean, a pontoon is really what I love about it. It's, it's a blank canvas that you get to take. Yeah and do all kinds of incredible things and think about how people are gonna really enjoy that space. Um, so I think that's that's what's fun about, you know, designing kind of in this um, in this part of the, you know, in industry um, with these boats. For right. sure. And, and there's, there's a lot of history that comes with Harris. Uh, could you kind of go through, uh, and we do have a really cool video to show, so maybe we'll kind of oh, kick yeah. off with you guys' uh, you know, a little bit of uh, the history of the brand, and then we'll, we'll play a video about that afterwards. So, so what is some of the history of, of the brand of Harris? Yeah, you know, Harris, it was one of the first uh, pontoon um, brands out there. We've been around since 1956. And I think it's safe to say that Harris has contributed, you know, so much to the pontoon um, category that without Harris, you know, uh, the direction and the way that boats are going, it could have been very different. Um, you know, there's there uh, were two brothers who really started the brand and had this vision and kind of grew it from there. And uh, over the years, there's been a lot of first and a lot of innovation um, that Harris has brought um, to pontoons. And I think, you know, when Harris joined the Brunswick family that only accelerated and really brought to life um, the brand so that, you know, we have a lot more to offer and variety and everything um, as well with that. So I think it's, you know, we've, the brand's been there since the beginning of the pontoon and has really been able to take hold of taking it from, you know, that deck with just the fence and a couple of, uh, you know, pop-up deck chairs all the way through to the types of, you know, performance boats that you see now. And it's really amazing, you know, um, I I didn't grow up um, on pontoon boats, more on the fiberglass side. And I remember the first time I really got onto the high performance, you know, pontoon boat and was just so surprised how great the ride was and what you could really accomplish with these boats. And I think Harris has really been a leader in bringing pontoons um, along that journey. And uh, that's, you know, I, I think it's a testament to the um, early Harris brothers who started the brand and the vision with that. Excellent. So let me, because uh, it's a cool video, so I have to show uh, the oh, yeah. up there. I'm going to hide myself and then bring in the video and then we'll, we'll play this uh, for all the viewers out there. So let's check it out. <laughs>
Awesome. Well, <laughs> I think that that is a great way to show uh, the evolution of a brand, uh, but also sticking to that core concept of just having a good time out on the water with your family and friends, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I mean, I'm ready to go get on the water. Um, I love watching that where you kind of come through all of the cool vibes. Um, I mean, the boats look cool even back in the day in the retro kind of look. Um, and then uh, when you have the sort of new vibe kick in with the, um, the boats, yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting to be part of um, this brand for sure. And Chase, uh, so I what I took away from that video was the technology that's changed, especially with outboard power, with, uh, you know, just the innovations of LCD screens. And could you talk about some of the innovations that are happening at Harris and kind of where you were before and what what some of these technologies are doing to, to bring pontoons to the future? Yeah, so it's it's an interesting story. And I think the video really drives home the evolution of the pontoon, but specifically the Harris brand. Um, Harris, like like Shelley alluded to, was uh, started by a couple of brothers who had a foundation of quality that they wanted to deliver to their customers. Uh, it limited the amount of uh, boats they were able to get out there. When Harris became part of the Brunswick family, um, well, you know, we were able to leverage the uh, the the capabilities of Brunswick to deliver more boats to more people around the country and use the technologies available uh, and the expertise available with that company to deliver that. Um, it, everyone remembers as um, as Lisa does the first pontoons they were on, just a platform, late night cruises, slow speeds. Um, once you introduce the tritunes and and four stroke engines, and you were able to get more people on, better performance, uh, quieter operation. Uh, back in the late nineties, um, it really took off. Uh, you're able to do almost everything you can with uh, any other watercraft out there. And you have the flexibility to design the boat uh, to carry a lot of people, but also to do uh, basically whatever you want to do on the water. I mean, we offer, you saw it in the video, uh, 800 horsepower on the back of a pontoon now. <laughs> that you can go as fast as you want to go. Um, you can tow uh, wakeboarders. You can tow um, all sorts of, do all sorts of water sports with it. You can also still cruise and have the the, the sunset cruises and listen to great stereo systems and and have touchscreen technology right at your fingers that allow you to operate your vessel like you would your vehicle or anything else. Well, and you know, how, and, and this is something we've been asking a lot of our guests because I think it's a really important topic is, is how much do you guys listen to your customers when you're putting in new innovations and, and new things into your boat and also taking out things that maybe, you know, that they didn't want as much. Um, how much do you listen to your customers when you come up with, with these things? You know, I, I think we we have two customers, you know, um, we love to listen to our dealers, you guys, especially Marine Arts, you're talking to our, um, our boaters all the time. So we, you, first of all, we, we love to hear what your feedback is, uh, because you're on the, you know, working with customers daily. And we get, believe me, if there's something that um, you guys are hearing a lot of, we definitely hear it immediately. And look and listen to why you know why our customers feeling like this is better or or some things that we changed um i think for boaters you know we we really have to listen to why you know why did they purchase the boat and it really is about having the space on the water and the dynamicness of a pontoon where you can have different seating areas and different areas that people can entertain in different ways. And so a lot of the time, you know, when we're talking to boaters, it's trying to understand, you know, who's coming on the boat, how many people do they want to get on the boat? What 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 is their ideal atmosphere that they want the want on the boat? And how do we create designs that are going to last, but also give them what they need? Um, you know, so I think it's it's um we're constantly getting that feedback through CSI and other programs like that. Um, I mean, I get daily emails of what our customer surveys are saying and review, you know, in depth what, you know, what they said about each part of the boat. Um, and it's really insightful to see, um, you know, what, what boaters find useful. Um, what I like is when they, you know, share, um, share on one of our owner groups online as well and tell us, 
hey, this is what I've been doing out on the water. And it's something unex unexpected that, you know, they're on a sandbar somewhere and they're fishing off of a crown or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so I think even though we sit and we think about how boaters are using, you know, our platform, you know, for this great enjoyment on the water, um, boaters are out there and they become the experts because they're on our boats all the time during the summer or even all year round down in the south. And so it's really important to hear um, what they like and also what they don't like and how do we move things forward um, each year as we try to, you know, release new models. Right. I and think Chase, we talk helpful. to everybody all the time too. So. Yeah, I, yeah, I was going to say also what? that, sorry, Lisa, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just going to reiterate Shelly's point that the boaters become the experts. I think that's very well said. And if you're not listening to them, you might be doing something wrong, right? Um, right. So uh, you have thoughts, Chase? Yeah, what, what Shelly's saying is absolutely correct. Not only do we get CSI information back, which is yep. a customer survey from all of our customers, we try to diagnose what they're asking for, what they're happy with, what they may be. Uh, would like to see as we go forward. Uh, we have chat rooms set up for our uh, owners of our uh, particular products that we monitor on social media consistently for uh, recommendations. We talk to our dealers consistently. And then, and then the other thing that we do are prospective customers. Um, we try to have Harris personnel at all of the major boat shows in the country to support the dealers and talk to the people who are looking at buying, um, as well as open house events and on water events that the dealers put on. That way we've got some direct conversations going on with the, not only the people that own Harris, but the people that may own other products and or, or are looking for a, a, a particular item in a pontoon. Well, I, you mentioned one thing, and that, that's social media. And, and definitely one thing social media does is it lets you hear from the public whether you like it or not. Um, how do you guys, uh, and Shelly, I'm sure, you know, being director of marketing, uh, you probably, this is part of uh, the game plan, but how do you guys utilize social media to kind of, uh, you know, hear from and talk to your customers? Is it something that has become part of, uh, of the overall strategy? Yeah, I mean, you know, definitely. I, I think social media, you know, is, is it's, everybody gets to see what people are saying. You know, it's not behind a closed door, um, which is great because when people love your product and they they just want to share it out there, you know, it's really great to then tap into that and then get other people to comment and share how they use the boat and different things that they find useful. Um, and then I think I think it's it it is, you know, you want transparency there. And I think it's it's a great channel for people to reach out to us. Um, you know, we monitor and listen to all kinds of conversations, not just on our social channels, but across all of the pontoon groups and and across the marine industry. Um, I think a lot of times, you know, people have said to me, well, Shelly, you know, are you on social media a lot? And I say, well, yes, because <laughs> if you're in marketing, you're on social media a lot. There's no way around it. But I do enjoy um, scrolling through and seeing um, as the weekends roll in, who's doing what, what lake they're on, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the funny comments. What I've really learned um, about joining the marine industry is there's a great sense of humor with boaters. <laughs> and um, I often will be looking at something, uh, you know, at night scrolling through my feed and just kind of laugh about it. And, um, you know, my husband will say, oh, what's well, funny? And I'll be like, no, it's, it's boat humor, <laughs> you know. Um, but I think it's it's enjoyable to have that kind of connection with customers and then be able to marry that with what we see coming through on the surveys. And quite often our team is sharing snapshots of comments or things that they saw on social media that they go, you know what, hey, this is this is some feedback that we haven't heard. And, um, you know, our head of product, I'll, I'll send him snapshots of comments and things that people are saying um, because it does help us in the way that we approach you know, designing boats and, and bringing that to the table. And I, I have to say, I've been loving working and joining the Harris team because I feel like um, marketing's at the table in the conversation, sales, and when we're having these um, conversations about developing new product, everybody can bring their unique lens, which is important to making sure that we can really drive our product development forward. So um, it's been uh, it's been really refreshing to be part of a team that can do that um, mm -hmm. effectively. 
Well, All right, you guys heard it here first. Harris is listening. So if, uh, if you're not following them on Facebook, you need to do that immediately. Oh. It's Harris Boats on Facebook. Um, I actually was scrolling through my feed last night and saw an, a retro photo come up that had like the hardcover and all the, the sidewalls. I was like, wow, look at that. I'm talking to them tomorrow. I liked it. I was like getting jazz for this, uh, this interview. So um, definitely have a lot of great, great shots going out on, on the, the Facebooks. Anytime yeah. I see a slide, it gets me excited. Anytime you, <laughs> you saw the video there, and I'm sure anybody's like, wow, you can actually have a slide out in the water like that. Uh, and I'm sure we can get to that a little bit when we're talking about our models. Yep. No, absolutely. Right. Let's get into some models. Um, sure. I, I, I think the, the teaser video was a really nice little snapshot, uh, but we do have a 2020 Harris brand film that goes over more in depth the, the current model lineup, the newest stuff for 2020. Uh, so Kelly's going to bring that up and we'll roll through that and then get in, in depth on some models. So cool. All, All right. right. I want to go voting immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the that the music just like again, it's the it's a great vibe. You just want to get out there. So Chase, you can go right outside now and go get on your boat in your backyard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would I, if I could, I promise. <laughs> I definitely have to say what what seeing that video is um is the, the, the one word that comes out of it is versatility. And uh, and I think that there's just so many different things you could do with a pontoon boat that you wouldn't even expect. You know, there's fishing, there's water sports, there's just casual relaxing, there's speed. If you want to just haul across the lake, uh, you know, talk about maybe some of that versatility in your, in your range of boats too. And then we'll kind of start going through uh, the entire series of Harris boats. Yeah, so we, we, we try to deliver something for every boater, right, in the pontoon segment. We have um, uh, our Cruiser LX is our most economical boat up the way, all the way to our Crown twin engine that we, you saw in some of the videos, the twin 400s. Um, try to hit every price point and every layout possible that we can, you know, so people can decide really what they want to do while they're out there. Do you have a large group that you want to bring on board? We have seating configurations and links and layouts for that. 
if you have just a few people and they really want to enjoy being able to spread out and lounge and uh, be comfortable as they go and cruise or maybe even cruise at high speeds. We have some layouts that are designed to do more, more of that. Um, like you said, if you've got the guy out there that wants to have the fastest pontoon on the lake, we certainly are able to deliver that without a doubt. If you want to have the guy that has the best uh, the best uh, stereo system, we certainly are able to do that as well. So, um, frankly, that's the beauty of the pontoon segment. And the reason it's been growing so quickly and grabbing so many customers is it's not just a boat and here's the boat and you figure out what to do with it. You figure out what you want to do and we can deliver the boat. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think I think there's so many options that it feels really customized to you. You know, you can make it feel like very different based on what you get um, because there's just there's so much versatility with it. Right. So if I am just starting off, I know I've decided, yes, I'm getting Harris Pontoon. I'm not really sure what I want. Where is like a basic model? Where's a good place for people to start? But I would recommend the Cruiser series. Um, it's yeah. our most popular uh, uh, series of boat. It's it's a great boat for the first time boater. Um, it delivers uh, all sorts of floor plans that we can, uh, like I said, you can decide how many people you're going to consistently have on the boat and how they want to uh, be able to ride and how much comfort they want to deliver or how many people you want to try to get into one craft. Uh, but it, it ranges anywhere from you know 21 feet all the way up to 25. Uh, we can go from 25 horsepower up to uh, 250 horsepower on the product. Uh, you can do third tubes with ski lockers. You can do uh, uh, rear facing loungers. You can do uh, full uh, uh, enclosed um, uh, benches to maximize seating on the, on the boat. Um, stereo systems that have six speakers that are rear facing speakers that go into the water. A lot of things you can do with that boat. And I would say it's our most value oriented boat. It's a, it's a great price point for what it delivers. Wow. Definitely loaded with options. As you can see, Kelly scrolling through the website here. Um, so that's, I mean, just even the, the, the length of the boat and the different types of horsepower are so many different options for people to choose from. And I'm sure it affects price. So if you need to sure. tiptoe into the pontoon market, there is an option there. <laughs> I, this is pretty cool. Uh, just seeing this. So for obviously, uh, I love fishing and uh, this is a, this ha kind of some of the rod holders, but also this platform here is pretty cool to kind of get up a little higher and uh, in, in a way from everybody else. Uh, could you maybe talk a little bit about that for the fishermen out there? Yeah, that's our fish and cruise series. So what it allows is flexibility, right? Because you may want to fish, but your wife and your children may want to cruise. So you've got some cruising options in the front of the boat and some benches where they can lounge uh, while you uh, while you fish in the back or whomever uh, enjoys fishing, fishes in the back of the boat. Um, it allows you access easily to the water through two gates on the back. You have a rod rod holders, as you mentioned. Uh, you have a live well in the back there, a fish cleaning station. Uh, you can even do some pump outs and some fresh water um, uh, to go through there to clean everything off. We put a flooring in the boat that is uh, conducive to fishing, so it's easy to clean up. Uh, very comfortable fishing seats in the back, and you've got uh, uh, you've got a lot of rod storage uh, capability there as well. So it, it's it's a boat that's designed to fish off of, but also provide comfort for the rest of the family if fishing is not what they like to do. For sure, that is that is really cool. And then you can see here the helm station. Uh, uh, and and what what it, when it comes to color combinations, interior, exterior materials, uh, you know how what's the, what's the limit on you know how people can design their boat. Uh, Shelly, do you want to take this or would you like me to talk to you? I that mean, well? so put it this way, you know, one of our big, my biggest challenges, um, communicating to boaters how many options there are and, mm -hmm. and even in our catalog, fitting everything together um, in a way that people can see how much variety there is. What I love about, you know, our value pontoon is, is that you still have the option to get really great vinyls that feel so luxe. So you can really, you, you for yourself can make that boat, um, even at the value price, feel really luxurious. Um, but then you also have the option, um, as Chase said, for the fishing um, materials that we've chosen that make it really hardy. So again, what whatever is your taste and what you're looking forward to do on the boat, like Chase said, we can make that boat for you. Right. Um, I think the color combinations 
you know, we have everything from the base fence panels to the accent colors. And so having one boat next to another, sometimes I have to be like, okay, yeah, that's a that's a cruiser, that's a solstice, because the colors and the options and, and everything else together can make it look like a very different boat. Um, you know, including that you can, you know, um, different bimini colors and, you know, double bimini's and Mm -hmm. If you're not quite sure the bimini, it's, you know, it's the shade on the top. I have a lot of voters ask me what uh, what's the bimini, but it's the, uh, <laughs> yep. the shade on the top. So, you know, first you're starting with what flooring options, where there's a ton of options there, and then fence, and then accents, and then bimini colors. I mean, there's just, if you like to yeah. pick out and make your own, you know, mix of stuff, then there's, there's just a lot that you can do. So it's uh, really fun um fun to be able to do that and you know go on our boat builder and play around with all the different options um so that you can start to see what that would look like um but yeah well i found my boat i think i think as you were talking there i, I i'm ready let's do this <laughs> this is it all blacked out that that's really cool yeah the all blacked out is um uh, it's pretty sweet yeah you see that on the water and uh, you're like that's that's a self looking <laughs> boat Sure. Yeah, Kelly loves a boat builder. I I know that was the first thing he was going to find was a <laughs> feature, which is so much fun because you can really see yourself. You're like, oh, these are my colors right here, like Kelly just did. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Really easy to use. So it's uh, anybody want to check that out, harrisboats.com, and uh, you can just click the design your pontoon right there in the top. Yeah, and you can you know you can save your configuration. So it's kind of like if you've ever done any other kind of planning tools, you can you know, try it one way, save it, try it another way, um, you know, and then see, kind of compare what you like, uh, which is which is fun. Now, is, is there a buy button on that? Like if you build a couple and you're like, hmm, I want this one, buy. And it just goes to you guys and you start building that boat? So what happens is usually that request goes through to the dealer. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, a lot of times there, there may be, some similar inventory out there of a boat and um, they'll take a look and see if you've gotten something close there um, obviously we do custom uh, boats as well so yeah i mean there's definitely there's definitely you can submit that um right. that configuration and um you know then then we can look at what we have in inventory but then past that yep you can make your customization and um the Marine Max folks will get right to us. <laughs> yeah. I would like to say as well that we do, one of the things we do when you ask, we talk to our customers is we do pass along what the most popular options are to our yeah. dealers. And we really make sure to try to keep them in the loop when they're stocking inventory of what's being asked for the most, what color combinations, what floor plans, what lengths, what layouts, what horsepower combinations. Um, so that, you know, when a customer goes to the website, it is very likely that when you contact your local dealer, they'll have something very similar to what you like in stock, if not the exact thing. Yeah. Now that's awesome. good to know. Um, definitely a, a time difference between purchasing something that's in stock versus building. So For sure. you, yes. know, if you want your boat today or, you know, maybe a year from now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I think sure. it is interesting to see, um, like Chase said, the take rates of what people and what combinations they resonate with and, um, you know, be able to share that out so that, again, we're, you, you can have that option of getting right out on the water really fast. Um, or, you know, some people like to take their time and browse and figure out really what they want um, mm -hmm. and then kind of be able to do that as well. So it, there's some good options. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And we didn't even get to the power options either. I mean, if you look <laughs> right. here, the amount, of, the, the type of uh, power packages you can do here is just insane too, with how many Mercury engines and very cool. So, so that is the cruiser series, and let's just kind of cruise along here, um, and uh, maybe let's check out the Sunliner series. So, so what is what are some of the benefits of the Sunliner series? Well, the Sunliner series is based in a lot of ways off of what we do with the cruiser. I would almost view it as a just another trim level up from the mm -hmm. cruiser, right? So it adds some standard features uh, that, that we have on the cruiser, often as options, uh, more luxe furniture, some furniture options like pillow top furniture that aren't available on the cruiser series, um, uh, fold down armrests, as you can see with the backrest to provide a little bit more comfort 
uh, some upgraded electronics options there. Um, standard things like uh, retractable stainless steel ladders that really make it easy to enter and ex exit the water. Um, so it, it's 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 based off of almost a cruiser, cruiser platform, uh, mm -hmm. but you just get some some more luxury sensory items and some standard uh, standard features on there that aren't aren't standard on the cruiser. So it's a more premium version of the cruiser, which is uh, you know people already love the cruiser, and uh, let's just take it take it up a notch from the fit and finish and. Uh, comfort standpoint. Correct. Yes, that's, that's exactly right. And uh, it's not a huge step in price. Uh, so it's it's something it's a very popular boat for us. Uh, if the cruiser is the most popular, the Sunliner is right behind it in popularity. All right. Very Looking cool. at all the boating photos, it definitely makes me want to get out on the water. The next time we do an interview, I really hope it's at a boat show out in the open <laughs> air or on a pontoon somewhere. That would be lo lovely. <laughs> On a pontoon would be great. Yes. All right. You want to move through? Uh, what about the Solstice series? I just like that word, Solstice. Right? Yeah. It's a great I name. Um, I think the Solstice, you know, it's been, it's been an exciting year for the Solstice. Um, this, you know, all new boat came out this year, and there's there's been some technology added, some really new design in the furniture to give it a, a great look. And um, I, you know that there's a rear seating lounge lounger that's just amazing that folds all the way down and flat and is a great hangout spot. And I know every time I ask one of our team members on some of the Zoom chats and things we're doing, I'm like, okay, tell me which is your favorite model. A lot of them go to the Solstice um, just because the look and the feel of this boat this year has been phenomenal for us. Um, so yeah, it's it's um, it's. It's got a lot of comfort, and um, I'll let Chase go into some of the some of the reasons why I'm sure he loves the Solstice too. Yeah, it, it's it's uh, so it's a brand new product this year for us. The Solstice is completely redesigned. Um, remarkably, for the price point it's in, it was our best selling boat during boat show season, which is wow. just fantastic. Yep. Um, the, um, the 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 furniture was completely redesigned to incorporate um, what we call a cubby hole for uh, drinks and uh, USB ports and speakers and lighting. Um, the furniture was made uh, a little bit thicker foam and more dense foam to be more um, uh, comfortable. Uh, we offer a new pillow top option that, that has what we call an ultra touch vinyl, which feels, uh, it's hard to explain what it feels like. It feels like a really fine leather that, you, uh, that you're sitting on in, a, in an mm -hmm. automobile. Um, the uh, helm was redesigned to be completely ergonomic where you've got great leg room. You can do a 360 turn from, in your seats. Uh, we have wireless phone charging features. We have what Shelly was referring to as C-Zone technology, uh, which is digital switching, something that drives quality through the product, but also allows for things like programming your lights, your interior lights to do different uh, designs and party modes and things like that. Uh, we bring uh, JL audio into the mix on the solstice uh, and the um, um, uh, it's, it's just a wonderful boat. And I haven't even gotten to the back end with the five way lounger that Shelly was discussing. Uh, you can lay flat, you can sit facing forward, you can sit facing rearward, um, uh, in five different, uh, areas. It has a built in cooler under the back of the lounger, uh, rear facing speakers and an extended swim platform that make it much, much easier to access, uh, and interact with the water. It's just a fantastic boat. It's been, it's been a great seller for us all. Yeah, that well, back deck is great. It's got so much room back there. Um, it's, yeah. it's been really popular. It's just so cool. That, I mean, there's it, again the versatility where you can uh, you can actually just do wa you know water sports, wakeboard, wake surf, uh, ski off the back. Of course, tubing, which I'm sure a, a ton of people are are into for sure. Especially you know, we got the summer coming up, so. Um, also, uh, one thing uh, you know, there's there's been some questions. I'm so there's like the the there, you got that typical pontoon, but then you have the tritune. Is that what they're calling it with the three floats? Could you talk a little bit about the differences between those? Yeah, so the the triple tune uh, really helps with buoyancy, and what's that what that has done for the pontoon category is really made it so you can get more capacity on the boat and get really good flotation, and then also performance in the water as well. So, um, 
you know, it's just made it really make the pontoon feel like at those higher speeds that when you, you know, take a corner and stuff, it just gives you a lot more performance there. Um, those are the technical terms, Chase. <laughs> you can share um, sort of what, what the real technical things are, the triple tune. But yeah, it's um, it, it has really just given a lot more stability, care, you know, and capacity to the boat. Yeah, the triple tunes have taken off. Uh, they've continued to become more and more of a part of our business for the last 10 years, and they've really taken off in the last two years. Uh, it makes up the majority of what we build, uh, our triple tube uh, uh, packages anymore, or tri-tunes, if you'd like to call them that. Um, they do allow more uh, buoyancy, and so you can fit more people on, uh, more horsepower. They perform, they're faster, they turn better. We drop the center tube to make it more like a V-hull boat, so the return to skier and the turn is similar to what you would experience in a runabout-style boat. Um, and then, you know, larger fuel tanks. Um, we have the storage in the center that, that allows you to keep a nice clean boat if that's what you would like to do as add that option. And then frankly, it allows us to bring our horsepower up, uh, which uh -huh. is my favorite aspect of it on the, <laughs> um, so the Solstice, for example, uh, has the 400 horsepower uh, capacity on it. So it's uh, something that can get up and go with a single engine. Um, the best benefit of the Tritune though, to me is especially in rougher water areas, large lakes, uh, coastal environments is it takes waves as well as any craft that, they, that you'll feel on the water. It, uh, okay. It's a nice, wonderful, smooth ride. The whole family can enjoy. And with the four stroke engines, as we discussed earlier, not only is it smooth, but it's very quiet. Well, I bet so you that there's a ton of engineering that goes into something that looks relatively, at least as like, I was going to say the same thing probably, but I mean, it's like uh, something is relatively simple as a, a float like that. I mean, what, what kind of engineering and uh, perfection goes into creating the perfect uh, tune? <laughs> <laughs> Try to. A lot. Uh, but the, uh... <laughs> I, th there's a lot there truly is right so we we have uh we've we've developed these tubes uh over the the 60 plus year span of the business um that allow you know that as these horsepowers continue to increase you have to increase the strength of the tube uh mm -hmm. you have to increase the 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 way that or improve the way that it cuts through the water uh, increase the running surface on top of the water to give you maximum speed uh and, and maximum um uh, use in rough water environments uh, but uh, frankly, Harris has a technology that we developed in 1999 called our Total Torsion Reduction System, uh, which is a, a patented feature on our products and really the backbone of what Harris does from a quality standpoint. Uh, that not only gives you the tube more strength and rigidity as it rolls through the water, it keeps the boat from twisting altogether so all of your components on top of the boat stay nice and tight uh, through the lifespan of the boat and it allows for uh, higher horsepower opportunities on the product. Definitely an interesting uh, turn of events when it comes to pontoons. Could you see the Tritune becoming the wave of the future for the entire market? Uh, if, if, if you're asking me, it's difficult to say because the, the you know the boating market is so diverse. Uh, where mm -hmm. you grew up in Michigan or or um, um, you know Wisconsin, a lot of the lakes are small and you can see across them and there's not a lot of need to have a high horsepower or more capacity. Uh, so you're able to get into a boat for uh, less less cost if you don't add those things. Uh, I would definitely say for some of the larger lakes that and, and the coastal markets that drive you know a little bit rougher water conditions, uh, we've seen that that uh, you know the tritune is is almost an you know the, the the entry level pontoon for those markets, and it's becoming more and more so simply because the 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 comfort that it uh, brings with the ride and the opportunity to do water sports and put more people on. The right. That's just an interesting question. Obviously, there's a different type of boat for every single different type of boater. Sure. <laughs> but it seems the benefits are so great. Why wouldn't everybody want, you know, more buoyancy and a smoother ride and be able to take waves, you know, at more comfortably? Um, just an interesting question. So, all right. So that kind of, I think, wraps up the Solstice series. Sure. Um, one, one last well, question about, so, and I know that this is a good transition because I know some of the higher end uh, products, premium products. Uh, so there, there's the Bimini tops, but you also have this type of top of, you know, what, what is uh, what are some of the benefits and what what do you call this top? 
So this is, you know, this is the tower. And actually, I do get asked, I was asked that question a lot. What is that called? Um, you know, quite a lot of boat shows this year. But, you know, our towers, I think it really, it comes first from a an aesthetic appeal, right? It mm -hmm. just really looks cool, first of all. Um, but I think it's it allows um, people to feel like, um, you know, the pontoons moving into more of feeling like that custom boat around you. And it allows you to be able to attach some really cool speakers and some lighting and some other visibility and things like that, that, you know, a Bimini just has a different look when you're on the water because usually the Bimini's down. And so this is something that can stay up when you're underway and um, gives you that kind of look and that feel that you would, that you want. So again, it's, it's, um, you know, I've had people who are like, I can't do without that. And then I've had people who are like, no, I'll be fine with my Bimini. So it really is a, you know, it's a personal choice there, but it does allow you to put some pretty awesome speakers <laughs> and, um, and give you, um, you know, I mean, if you're getting a pontoon, you definitely want to show off, <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, and have fun with it and, and have a good time. So uh, having that ability to do that um, is great. Awesome. Cool. So let's uh, continue onwards here to the Grand Mariner series. And uh, tell us a little bit about the Grand Mariner series here. Ooh, now you're keep going up. It's, um, you know, this, this, this boat um, really, you know, um, and, and we'll talk about the crown next, but it, um, you start to get into some really luxe um, feeling where, you know, um, you just really want to have a nice place to be extremely comfortable and feel the luxury on the water. And, um, you know, when you start to look at the helm and the options in the helm, this is really um, an helm that you can start to have some cool electronics as well and, and a lot of different options. Mm -hmm. So I think um, it's just, you know, it's the next step up. Um, but it also gives you the traditional look of a pontoon with the fence on the outside. But again, it gives you some um, uh, engine options as well that that make it a really um, strong model for us. Very nice. So Chase, what are some of your favorite features about the Grand Mariner series? So for me, the Grand Mariner is about really two things. It's about quality of materials and feel and and then and, and then more than anything, comfort. Uh, we we have a it's a great boat. Uh, we have three different sizes in it, 23, 25, and 27 foot. And the 27 footer feels feels huge, right? You can fit mm -hmm. a ton of people on there. You can stretch out, you can lay down. Uh, it delivers more uh, seating space than any other boat that we have. Uh, and the quality of those materials is fantastic. As Shelly mentioned, there's all the technology that we have uh, with the rest of the lineup that we can integrate on this boat. We just stretch it out make it larger and make it more comfortable and you can I, do it you know like i said larger horsepower again so, i call it yeah. the teenager test because you know um teenagers generally don't always want to hang out with their parents and certain or they bring friends or stuff like that this boat gives you enough room where you can have two groups you know uh cohabit on the water they can mingle if they want to but if they still want to be cool with their friends on the back of the boat and the parent you know whichever area you want to be in this gives you a ton of space to do that as well oh that's adorable and and so true <laughs> i remember being a teenager and not wanting my parents to be on the boat at all <laughs> and you know where you do that uh, then on a pontoon with that much space because a lot of i mean you've got the bow you've got the back of the boat uh but to be completely separated and you know whispering the conversation gotta have a little bit of space in between you <laughs> yeah i think uh, you know it's it's great because you can just you can feel like you know they can have their friends up front and kind of have a nice group up there and you know uh the person who's driving the boat with who's ever interacting on the back and then kind of mix so i think i think the length of that boat and the comfort there is it's awesome Nice. And Kelly's in to build the boat again. You have, and you, have ton, you have a ton of interior options too. I noticed this yes. one has, has many more options too with the pillow. You did mention the pillow top. So uh, that is an option and uh, looks good. I bet you it, it probably is uh, for sure comfortable too while you're out there just kind of relaxing on the day. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's just so cool how, how deep you can go with some of these things and some of the cool colors you can get 
but also I'm guessing the next one here. Yep. So these, uh, the, the Grand Mariner uh, allows, I think, for a little bit more uh, oomph uh, to get across that lake. So uh, could you tell us about some of these, these uh, engine packages? Because uh, I'm sure a lot of people will go for something like that. Go ahead, Chase. Yeah, the Grand Mariner. I think I think the Grand Mariner is the boat where we start to introduce uh, 450 horsepower opportunities for the line uh, on a single engine, and where we start to introduce twin engines uh, to the line. So um, you know, 300 twin 300s up to twin 400s um, is is something that we've done on this boat um, uh, often. Um, it really with the 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 larger sizes and 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 the lengths and all those sorts of things you can start to introduce speed and comfort at the same time mm -hmm. um which is one of the real draws of this boat and 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 we have a ton of people that own them that just we have great feedback on it um and it's something that uh um you know is a true desire because it services the needs of a lot of families where certain members want a lot of comfort and 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 you know certain members say hey i want to go as fast as i can across the water right so um that's that's uh that's the essence of this boat to be frank with you yeah and i think this oh, oh go, go for it shelly no i think uh chase as well with the having the you know the dual engines and the joystick options and being able to like park the boat like a pro um i think that that's sort of the best moment is when somebody sees you docking and you have twin engines and they're, you know, doing their thing. And, um, you, you know, they're like, wow, that person knows what they're doing on a boat when, you know, Mercury makes it easy there. But, um, this boat can, you know, help you have that as well, which is, which is really great. Personal this favorite really feature. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think that's a lot of people's favorite feature, uh, just making boating easy, which is uh, yeah. something that, uh, Mercury and, and just uh, the, these technologies are certainly doing. This is cool though. I like the, the, the options for the floor plan too. So you're not stuck with one configuration. It looks like you have a, a bunch of different configurations depending on your, your needs. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It, it's got our rear lounger set up, which is very popular. Once again, you can set facing forward or rearward. Uh, you can do that with a bench that's longer for more seating. You can do it with a secondary captain's chair. So you can, uh, the captain can have a first mate, if you will, uh, next to them. Uh, we also have the quad bench uh, set up, which we call a center walkthrough uh, that delivers an area for seating on the back as well as built in coolers in the back of that boat. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, you're exactly right. It's it's very versatile, uh, especially for the size and the opportunities of horsepower on the back. Wow. Yeah, we, we have a lot of couples with the dual helm, dual helm who take out the boat sometimes with their whole family, but sometimes just the two of them take it out and they right. want to sit next to each other and be able to have conversation while the one person's driving. So, you know, that again, each layout can really match how you use the boat. Yep. No, definitely a benefit there for sure. I, I mean, so this boat is spectacular and we still have the crown jewel of the Harris line, pun intended. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nice, Lisa. The Crown series. You guys get that? Working on that all day. Yeah, well, you, you can't good. miss the crown. Um, you know, it's um, it was, it, I mean, the first and really innovative when it launched, and um, it's still a great head turner. You see that on the water. You know it's a crown. Um, I think it's, you know, the outside of it and the slope front, and uh, it's, it's just a wow factor, um, you know, so... I mean, I think even the tower and um, the lighting and the rear view camera that you can get on this boat so that you, while you're driving, you can see the skier behind you, really cool. Wow. Yeah, so this is kind of a, the creme de la creme when it comes to all, all the options you could possibly think of from the, uh, you know, from, from a, a captain's perspective, but also the, the comfort, uh, the speed, uh, the looks, the sound from the audio system, I'm sure pretty much everything, uh, uh, no uh, expense was spared when it comes to the crown. No, I mean, I think it's it's all about the details here of that make up, you know, the wow of the boat. So, yeah, it's, again, the head turner on the water and um, it's been uh, it's been a fabulous model for us. Um, so it's, you know, it's an it's great representation of the Harris brand. 
One thing yeah, I like about uh, uh, some of these boats is, is the lighting options that you can do now, especially with LEDs. They're making things so much easier to uh, uh, not only uh, make things brighter to see, but also, I mean, you know, just having some really cool LEDs light up your boat uh, always goes a long way when, you know, you're cruising along uh, in, in your, your habitat there. <laughs> Yeah, I think lighting is hugely important um, on the in pontoons. Uh, what we um, were mentioning on the Solstice series, which is you know obviously our all new model this year, is you have one touch lighting themes. So if you are you know there's certain re um, restrictions on what lights you can use under motion and things like that, um, and um, so having the ability to be able to have different themes like on the solstice with the, you know, one touch stuff and those type of themes, but then also here on the crown where you can really set your mood um, and your atmosphere. Um, it's, it's kind of like having that really cool back deck at your house. That's all lit and you just want that vibe. You know, sometimes it's chill. Sometimes it's, I want to have a really big party. Um, <laughs> and um, I think that this is, um, this is the, the top of that so um yeah it's a great boat all right chase i know you have things to say yeah. about the <laughs> talk about power here chase yeah huh? it, it, that, that that's that's this is where you know like i said you get to you you're able to do what you do on the grand mariner but you're able to do it with a little bit more styling the profile of this boat um really sets it off i mean uh, shelly mentioned it earlier you don't it's, it's very distinct uh you don't uh look at the boat and say hey what is that you know what it is and uh, since we launched the boat, I was, you know, it's it's in a level of its own. But uh, you 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 wonder when you come out with something this innovative, how it's going to do. And our biggest issue every year is can we build enough of them? Uh, so it's it's been a uh, it's been a, a great uh, seller for us. And it's been a uh, the customers that have the boats love them. They talk about them often on social media and you just see more and more of them on the water. Yeah, I, I mean, agreed. It's it's um, the profile in the water, water and, um, you know, the detailing on the seats, uh, you know, it looks like some of the, the bigger yachts that you see out there, just really, um, the finishes on this boat are beautiful um, yeah. and yeah, gives you that kind of luxe feel. We'll see if we can I get chased. Yeah, we'll get them back. But I also, uh, there's, there's a lot of options uh, in terms of, um, you know, so, could you tell us a little bit about, you have the DL, the SL, um, what are some of the differences there between the different? Yeah, so that, that can be quite, you know, overwhelming if it's the first time you're looking at the pontoons um, category is because there's all these, you know, CL, DL, walk through all these different floor plans. And um, so basically what it talks about is a lot of what those um, things are talking about is how you access, get on and off the boat. So you have like the center walkthrough. So like CW is like the center walkthrough where you where you have the fence on the front, you know, and you can walk all the way through the back and that you don't have to jog to the side to get around the seating. Sure. Um, so you'll you'll have the option where you can have um, sort of more of that, that um, you know, seating conversational space where you have the seating wrap around and then you have the door kind of go through the back of the boat or if it's open at the back, you're kind of walking through the center. Um, then when you have the SL, you know, and the single lounger, those what those are what some of those things stand for. Okay, it's all okay. to do with the seating configurations. Um, and then um, oh, Chase is back. Yeah, Chase. Chase so we're we talking we are, about all the we SL, the CW, all of these different configurations. But really, it's about how the the boat is laid out. And as we mentioned, you can have where you have the two helm seats that sit next to each other, which again is great. You know that the that the boat or the guy, the person who is driving the boat doesn't feel like they're all, you know, by themselves and everybody else is in a different conversation area. They can have somebody who can sit next to them while they're driving. So those are what all of the, you know, SL, CW, all of those send a walk through and fuel home, like the, those are what all of the, those terms mean. And, you know, it's, that's very unique to the pontoon um, uh, category is that there are just all of these flooring kind of configurations with the furniture. Mm -hmm. So, yep. That's a good question, Kelly. Yeah, well, and it's uh, it's it, it's just cool that the, you have just so many options. Uh, you know, you're you're not just like, well, we have this boat, and this is what you can choose from. It's basically like, you know, what what are you looking for in a boat? We'll help you find something from Harris. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, I think what's great too, you know, um, depending on the age of your kids, a lot of what attracts um, parents, you know, with younger kids is the fact that you do feel like they're fenced in and you yep. can get an option that is fenced in. And I don't feel like, you know, my four year old's going to just like run off the boat um, because a lot of, you know, other boats you feel like you step down into. And when you have this sort of flat platform, you want to have that nice um, fenced in and around the back. But then again, if you have maybe older kids or you want to watch the water sports from the back of the deck, you can have that very open back feel. Um, and what we've done a great job of, I think our design team did a great job of, with is, you know, if you're going under motion on some of those rear facing loungers, you have these, you know, the chains and kind of the things on the back to protect you when you're going. But um, the way that our team has done it, they've really made it so that you don't lose the open feel um, and that you, but you still have sort of that protection under motion where you can sit facing backwards, as you can see in this picture and be sitting watching the person doing the water sports and which is, um, you know, which is a lot of fun. Oh yeah, you don't get that, that head turn. No, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, but yeah, I, I think that's why this is a great versatile, versatile boat for families mm -hmm. because often, you know, you may have your boat for a while and your kids are changing ages, changing activities that they want to do. And as, and this, you know, the boats can kind of, um, be configured to be able to offer you a lot of different options um, with, you know, having those safety features there. So I think that's great. We also have options for some of much wider gates so that they're wheelchair accessible, oh. you know, and which is great because if you think of a lot of other boat types, um, you know, being able to, to put a wheelchair onto a boat could be challenging or having a handicap accessible. So I think, you know, that's, that is something good about these boats as well. It allows us the opportunity to make the gate, you know, the access uh, wide enough for that as well. Certainly. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well that, I mean, we've, we've covered the, the breadth of the Harris boat uh, lineup, which has been amazing just to kind of see the different options available. They're kind of endless. So if you're looking for a boat, start at marinemax.com and, and look at what we've got there or build a boat. I think, Kelly, that, that build a boat was pretty neat. I think that's a good place to start, too. On yeah, and, I, and I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, once they find the boat uh, on build a boat on harrisboats.com, they can call their local Marine Max. I'm pretty sure we have one in inventory that's very similar. I'm sure a lot of people are looking that for that blacked out one I, I was looking at before. So I'm sure they got a few of those. Yeah, no, I think uh, Marine Max, uh, you guys are a great partner. Um, one of our, you know, prides as a brand is really partnering with um, great dealerships who know what they're doing, who are very knowledgeable. And I have to say, you know, you're in good hands. And, you know, for us, we, we build the boat and we send it off to you. Um, and you really take that on, you know, take that journey further for us, for our customers. And so, you know, we really appreciate the partnership that you offer um, Harris Boats. And, um, you know, we look forward to lots more boating. That's what it's all about, for sure. So, uh, yeah, we, we really appreciate you guys being on today. Um, so, and what are some of the things that people can see in the future from Harris? Uh, you know, uh, what are some of the innovations or, you know, what's next for Harris? Chase, you want to take this one? Sure. I think you're I think you're going to see a lot more innovation around technology. Right. We're trying to bring the experience that uh, that consumers have in their vehicles or their homes, uh, um, you know, with technology um, into the boating uh, industry. Right. It's pontoon specifically uh, it makes it easier to operate, easier to use all those sorts of things. Um, to make sure that people are able to take advantage of what free time they have and not worry about um, getting into another world of, uh, of boating, right? You're going to yeah. continue to see that type of design um, uh, happen with us and more around versatility of uh, particular seating platforms. And then as always, we're going to do what we can to push the envelope on horsepower. Um, the, um, uh, so that I think you'll just see more of the same. Um, always with Harris, we have uh, in the back of our mind from our founding is quality and uh, safety as well. So we don't uh, design a single boat where that's not at the forefront of what we're doing. So uh, we're going to continue to do that as well. Well, awesome. excellent. Well said. All right. 
Shelly, right. do you have anything else to add? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, this year with the solstice and we was we were, you know, as our all new model launched for 2020 here was um, we received a, a top um, voting industry award for top product. And I think what's really exciting is seeing the technology that we're bringing in um, to the pontoon category uh, with digital switching and some other functionality like that. So I do think that, you know, it's not always the bling flash technology that you see on the surface, which always we want to bring, yeah. but it's it's the underlying technology of the boat that makes it much easier to take care of and um, looks at how does your, you know, how, how what is your battery management like? And we're very fortunate to be part of uh, the Brunswick group um, where we have access to, you know, being able to bring some of this technology um, quickly into our model lineup. And so I think the future of Harris is really looking at how do we take some of the things that boaters are getting very used to in other parts of their lives and things that they do with technology and bringing those onto their boat. And and again, like Chase says, in a lot of different ways to continue to increase safety, um, making it easier to manage the boat and take care of it, and then also um, increase the fun. So I, I would say it's, um, you know, we're excited about um, the future and, and um, our new models coming out next year. All right. Well, we're definitely looking forward we'll to- We'll come back to talk to you about those later. Okay. <laughs> Deal. I will hold you to that. And hopefully we'll get to see you guys in person at a boat show soon. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of see what that looks like here in the future. But boating is definitely alive and well. We have seen so many people join the boating, boating as a sport uh, we have so many new owners out on the water today in all different types of boats. So it's been great to kind of see that going because you can, you know, just take your family group and, and have a great day on the water, whatever that may look like. Water sports, just kind of hanging out and doing some exploring, just going to sit in the middle of the lake and do nothing. It's amazing. That's what it's all about. You all can right. slide down the slide. Slide down yeah. the slide. Yes. Exactly. I do remember uh, very vividly, I worked out of our Clearwater dealership for a little while and there was a customer group that came in. It was a husband wife team and they had two kids and they had friends, yeah, husband wife team, they had two kids. And they saw that boat with the slide, the punch and <laughs> slide, and it was like game over. They were, all, all of them, all eight of them are over there. They, I think they bought it, if not that day, the next day. And they came in a couple weeks later, just smile from ear to ear they're like you we had so much fun all weekend we can't wait to use this all summer just it's such a great entertainment space for two families that were really close i think they may have purchased it together and it just brought them so much closer together and they were so thankful that a boat existed with the slide on it and they found it that day and i will never forget that because they were so just happy and i could feel that happiness coming out of them yeah, no, it's yeah. great. It's it's super fun. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it, I will say as well that those stories just make you smile, right? It, yep. It's it's uh, wonderful to work for an organization uh, as you guys do and we do. They're able to deliver so many memories like that. Um, it, it's it's fantastic. It's it's part of boating that you just can't uh, get away from once you're into it. So it, it's 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 a wonderful experience and great to hear those. Yeah, no, absolutely. We started with fun and I think we ended with fun. So uh, we got to keep the fun going. And uh, thank you very much, Shelly and Chase, for uh, speaking with us today. We appreciate your time and uh, we, we look forward to, to doing this in the future. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very well, much. Yes, thank you. And for all our viewers out there, make sure to visit harrisboats.com, get on that boat builder, play around. And give them a follow on Facebook at Harris Boats. Um, you could probably source them on all your social medias. They have some amazing imagery. I think uh, the new stuff is is out of this world cool. The old stuff is also out of this world cool. So a lot of great imagery coming out. Uh, give them a follow and become a fan. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your time. And as always, you know, stay healthy and boat happy. Love it. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you. Lisa. Thanks, right. Kelly. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. -bye.